Hi guys, this is OCG Josh, uh, Over the Confident Gamer Josh, whatever one you want to know me by, or you can just call me Josh, I really don't care. Um, if you guys go to my eBay, like I've been telling you, and I try to, I use it really to support the channel, uh, to buy more cards, to sell more stuff and everything, and so I want to explain to you why the shipping price is so expensive compared to everything else, and just remember, like, whenever you buy this, you're, you are buying for the card as well but you're also I'm hoping you guys understand that you're trying to support me and you're trying to help the channel grow so I want to show you this right here is the type of envelope that I send it in it has bubble wrap and everything on the inside and this alone to ship is gonna cost me two dollars and sixty one cents um, it's better I'm not gonna send you anything in an unpadded envelope uh, that's because I don't want the card to be damaged. I want you to experience the card like I'm sending it in to get PSA graded. Okay, so that's what it's going to eventually go into. Say, let's have this example. This is my card. It's my, like, 50th tap of cocoa. I keep up in the number. And what I'll do is, it's first off, it's in a penny loader and a, or a penny sleeve and a top loader. So, you know, that hardish sleeve, you know, it's a pretty basic protection. I roll it up in paper towels just because, you know, for some reason that makes me feel safe whenever you get in a paper towel. Maybe help keep the moisture off just in case it's a rainy day and the mailman just happens to get a little rain on it. And, you know, it's just that thin layer of protection. I might put, like, two layers of it. Depends on the rarity of the car. And then something I learned from PSA, or sending stuff into the PSA, you take two cardboard pieces and you put your card in between that. And then you take the rubber bands and you place it around this. And this just literally keeps your card in place to make sure it doesn't move around, it doesn't get hurt, and you know, it can bounce and hit things, and it's going to be okay in the end. And then finally, the, the expensive part is I put it into here slowly and easily. And make sure, you know, it's nice and thin. You know, I put my shipping label on it. And I send it out to you. So, in total, this cost around about three dollars and all that. And you gotta also understand with eBay, since I don't have a better site to sell on. If you guys have a better place for me to sell something, please leave a comment and let me know. I can maybe lower down the prices on stuff. But with eBay, there's fees and everything that you have to pay, and with PayPal and all that. So that is why a lot of the prices are much higher than what you would expect maybe you don't want to pay that for a car and that's perfectly understandable but please just know that when you do buy it from my ebay site which uh link will be down in the description you're not only just buying a card you're also helping support my channel which means a lot to me so if you guys can just go to ebay look at a card i'm gonna have i'll show you what i have up there right now i have a venusaur ex a blastoise ex a Charizard EX, a Tapu Koko uh, Sun and Moon Promo 31, a Metagross EX, and a Lycanroc EX. If you guys can just go there, look at them. If you want them, go ahead and pay for them. These three are up for bids right now. Um, I'll show you probably have a, uh, a little video on my U or, uh, eBay channel or link, whatever you want to call it. That will show you like everything, but these are for bid. And these, however, are all for like buy. Like you can just buy them right now, you can get it over with, you know, you don't want to wait and bid. And finally, the other cards I will be eventually putting up is going to be a Tapu Bulu. I'm wondering about this, I don't know if I should be getting it graded. Let me leave a comment. This will probably be, if I don't get it graded, be the last one I put up for right now. But yeah, leave a comment. It's Breakpoint just went out of print, so I'm trying to decide if I want to go send it into the PSA and get it graded. And then I have a Sylveon, a Turtonator, a Pidgeot EX, a Reverse Hollow Charizard. Probably not going to go as much as you wanted to, but you know, maybe a dollar or so. I do not think I'm going to sell these. Reason being is because I actually bought them off eBay because there's a guy selling card lots and I just wanted to test the waters with card lots and everything. So they're pre-owned 
and they were shipping me and sent to me and I just let me know I don't feel like I have the I don't feel like it'd be fair for me to send a card I bought that wasn't in a pack when I bought it or like in you know the factory sealed so if you want me to send it if you guys want one of these cards leave a comment uh, I'll get a price I usually get it off that shop TCG player or like eBay prices and everything but I don't know if I'm going to be selling those. And I got a Steelix EX that will be going up soon. And all my Tapu Cocos. Uh, the promo and then just the one from the set. So. Uh, again, I'll probably be showing you the eBay listing soon. It will come up in a different video where I'm not really showing you with my hands and everything. But please go there and just remember that whenever you buy these stuff, you're supporting this channel. Thank you and I'll see you guys in the next video.